Hey you, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first episode of Paint It Black, where I paint something black. <laughs> it's something that I do fairly regularly and a while back I thought, why don't I just make a series? So today we're gonna to be doing a revamp on this awesome little hutch that I got for absolutely nothing, for free. When we first came back from California earlier in March this year, we were staying with my sister and across the street from her was a family that was moving out and there were two sets of these that they just put out on the sidewalk. It's perfect because there was one for each of us and uh, I love it, free exactly how I like to get my furniture. Pretty awesome find and I stuck it in the back of my truck and I took it to storage and so now I have it as my desk in my studio and it works perfectly. I've got these drawers down on the bottom that hold all the little electronics and cords and all of the things that need to be organized in these drawers. They're perfect for that. And then up here I usually have my computer and then, you know, I'm gonna have a few books and stuff up here. I have a picture of my mom and this little tiny unicorn that she insisted on buying me once upon a time from H-E-B, their little shop called Mia's. It's like a gift shop. It's got all kinds of cute things. It's overpriced, adorable little things like this. <laughs> this was $12. I told her, I was like, mom, don't buy that. It's too expensive. But she, you know, she's like, so she got it. For me and it's just a lucky little unicorn it came in this super cute box I always kept it with me when she was alive so I keep it now over here by her picture yeah. so it's an awesome hutch but it definitely needs a revamp so of course I'm gonna paint it black and then I got these awesome knobs that I'm gonna be replacing the current ones with these are from Amazon of course and they're very very sparkly 40 millimeters I got the extra large because I just I want it to sparkle. They're not crystal, of course. They would be much more expensive, but I will leave a link for these in the description in case you want some big, enormous, sparkly jewels all for your for your own drawers. And it's a set of 10, and it was, I can't remember how much it was, but it was very reasonable. I will definitely have extra that I can use around the house. Maybe put big sparkly knobs on the little laundry doors over there or the little closet in the hallway. And I also got this primer. I really hate priming anything. Priming? Primering? I hate sanding. I don't like doing it. It's so tedious and I, I can never wait to get to the painting part. So I found this flat black primer and I thought I would try it. The only part I'm really going to sand is the top since it's going to get the most wear on it and then I'll just prime the entire thing. I have a couple cans here and I actually have an extra one just in case but hopefully one can will be enough for the top and another will be enough for the bottom. Once I have applied the primer I will be painting it black with my favorite black paint. I like to buy my black paint by the gallon. This paint is good for everything. It is an eggshell finish which is a semi-matte but it has just a little bit of shine to it. It's good for walls, it's good for furniture, it's good for little pieces of home decor. It's literally the perfect finish and the perfect color, in my opinion. So I highly recommend Linen Eggshell Paint. They don't actually have just black available to pick from the color swatches that they have, you know, along the wall. The darkest one is called like Black Onyx, I think, and it's an off black. It is not all the way black. Don't buy that one. I got a gallon of that and everything that I painted with it bugged me because I could tell it could be blacker. <laughs> you have to tell them just that you want black and they can do it. All zeros, yeah. All right, I'm gonna wait a little while till I actually go outside and get started on this because it is very hot. It is hot today. It's too goddamn hot to be outside. So I've got this speckling here, and I'm just gonna fill up all. Great right, baby, he likes to scoot his butt on the floor. Apologize, sir. Apologize. I love you too. Oh, dang it. Uh, 
Darn it. Hmm. Where is this buckaloo? Nope. Honey, come get your son. Ugh, finally, there it goes. Nope, back up. You can't have buckling, buddy. <laughs> Don't let him bite you. He's nuts. He's going full turbos. Ow. You pick him up and he's gonna find you. <laughs> so I am going to sand the top of the hutch with uh, this 150 grit sandpaper, but I'm not gonna sand anything else because the whole point of using spray on primer is to make this easier and less tedious and I don't want to <laughs> and yes that is a kiddie pool it's fantastic highly recommend it The next night it's already almost like 10 o'clock <laughs> but I'm finally gonna hopefully try to finish this tonight you can see that it's a little blotchy but it's okay because even right there there's a really good gritty texture so that's good it does kind of rub off on your hands and also I would suggest if you're gonna use that spray primer or probably any spray paint really you should wear a mask or a bandana or something on your face. I normally don't, but it kind of seemed like the primer was extra, like misty, like it was making this cloud, because I'm sure I have like a fine coating of paint in my lungs now. So wear a mask. I have my black paint here. I've got my plastic down. Little mister over here is sort of a terror. This little Baby boy likes to get into everything, steal everything he can, put everything in his mouth, right? Yes, you do. Then he's been trying to steal these, and I'm gonna put them in this old container that's been missing a lid for years. Because I can just, boop, right? You can get it. Okay, I'm gonna paint now, yay. You good boy. Sashimi break. Steven was craving sushi, as we do like every other day. And uh, he went out and had some and brought me home some sashimi, yay. Before I paint the drawers, I can see exactly where the old holes were. So I'm gonna drill a new hole, just right in the middle. I don't even have to measure it or anything. I could just eyeball it. Boom, perfect. Yes. So that's what I'm gonna do. And each drawer is just gonna have one like that. But oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Right here, right? Yeah, I think so. Yay! 
Oh my gosh. Don't you change the channel. Many days later. <laughs> I'm done. Finally, I'm done painting it anyway. I have done many coats and it's time for finishing touches. So let's put them on and be done so I can put my computer back. Oh, just barely. Yay! So there is the finished project, my revamped hutch. Nothing fancy, no artistic paint job, no fancy finish. Sometimes it's nice to just keep it basic and uh, just paint something black. So that is it. That is my finished project, my hutch revamp. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me while I complete this little project so that I can move on and work on the rest of the house now. <laughs> There is so much to do. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you'd like to come back and hang out. And I'll see you soon. Bye.